look, let me tell you something. Cousin Auntie Jean is, she be knowing what she talking about, girl. Girl, I had to get a real early this morning. I get up early every morning anyways. And there's a story about Cam Nuna about why he didn't marry his stripper, baby mama of four. And I almost shouted in the bed, girl. I had to get up because I didn't want to start yelling and screaming and laughing and jumping on the bed because he must have read my book because everything I wrote in my book is why he said why he ain't married his baby mama stripper baby mama of four kids okay we gonna talk about it y'all gonna learn today <laughs> y'all gonna learn today y'all it is saturday i have a long weekend my window is open yes huh is it the window open i'm feeling the cool breeze I, i'm an early riser okay i know y'all be like oh my god janice why you be up so early you so alive and happy and cheerful i'm a morning person i'm up at four o'clock i'm reading i'm writing you know right around five o'clock in the evenings though you start me seeming like oh girl I, i'm sleepy i got to go to bed <laughs> How are you? Thanks for hanging with us last night. We talked about incest, right? There's something we need to talk about that we don't talk about in the church, in the home, especially in the black church and in the black home, especially, okay? So be sure to check that out. Uh, Hope was on with me. Uh, she, uh, she has a new YouTube channel, uh, Soft Place to Land. Okay, I said Soft Place to Land on. It's not Soft Place to Land. It's Soft Place to Land. Soft Place to Land. Be sure to check that video out and leave a comment. Be sure to connect with her, subscribe to her channel, and um, and see if you can help her to meet her goal of writing this book about, about incest, all right? Or any kind of molestation, assault, any rape, anything like that. Be sure to check her. I love you. Thank you for your love. I am wearing my Take Your Cookie off the table. I cannot wait to get my other t-shirt. It's coming in the mail. I think I'm going to get it this week. I ordered myself a sample, so I could word for you guys. This sample, which of course goes with my book. Take Your Cookie Off the Table book, which is available on Amazon. It's a devotional. It's a devotional, a scripture you read, you meditate, and you answer the question because until you can answer the question, you're not able to apply the scriptures to your life. And of course, and of course, my my number one, this is my baby right here, 23 types of guys you might meet. These guys are out here, honey. They are out here. All right, let's get into it, girl. Let's get into it. He says, girl, you're not going to believe what he said. Mm -mm. Cam Newton shares why he didn't marry mother of four of his kids. Did she deserve better? I would humbly say yes. While the pair together from 2013 to reportedly 2020 created a family, Newton says during those years, he just wasn't ready to be a husband. Walk around the chair. No. Shout around the chair. Shout around the chair. Shout around the chair. Twerk around the chair. Twerk around the chair. Twerk, 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 twerk. He said, y'all, he said, let me read it on my phone so y'all I could keep the picture up there. He said he was not, he was not prepared. Isn't that what he said? He was not ready to be a husband. This is what I mean when I say men, <clears throat> men, no, they know what it means. They know the responsibility of being a husband. Let me show you on my table thing for um thank Valentine's and and um and Easter. I told you I decorate, girl. I decorated. Okay. Let me pull this up a little bit. They have to be, they understand. Let me tell you, men understand the weight of being the husband. Come on, somebody. Men, remember, husbands are representatives of Christ in the earth. The church is a representation of Christ, but men, aka husbands, are a representative of Christ. And everything you see Christ go through, you could take it over to the men and apply it. Uh -huh. 
Because the same way, come on, church, the same way Jesus understood the weight to redeem the church from sin, it's the same way men, husbands, understand the weight of being a husband. Come on. A husband is a weight. It is a responsibility. This is why, ladies, you do not beg them to marry you. This is why you don't lay up and have four kids with a man and ask him, well, when you gonna marry me? This is why you don't be a girlfriend and wait for him to marry you, boo-boo, because he might decide, he might lay with you, buy a house with you, got savings with you, buy a car with you, got 55 kids with you, and then get up and say, I ain't ready. <clears throat> you know why? He does not want to bear the responsibility of being your husband. Come on, somebody. Oh, I feel a preach in my spirit. Glory be to God. He said I wasn't ready. Huh? He wasn't ready. But guess what, y'all? This man laid up with this woman and had four children with her. Is it four or three? First of all, she was a stripper, okay? She already had one child, so she was already a baby mama. We overlook one over here at the church. Girl. We overlook one, okay? We all make mistakes. We all, you know, miss our foot. Not that the child is a mistake, but you know what I mean. You know, we we most of us go down the wrong path and then we course correct, myself included, okay? Because I had my, my sweet Lexi. I had my Miss Lexi when I was 16 years old. Okay, I had this girl here when I was 16. But I course correct. I course correct, baby. Because you know what? My daddy pulled me, my father in the faith. Not my biological father. Father in the faith pulled me to the side. I was 17, 18. He said, you're a pretty girl. You could get you a good husband. Don't you have any more babies? Don't have any more kids. That's why I told me. You know what? And when I remember when I started my, my first supervisor, she retired about a month ago. And I remember, she's Italian. And I remember when I started the job, she said, come here, Jane. They call me Jane. Jane! Don't you hang around with these girls around here because you could get you a good husband. Course correct. Course correct. But this man said, I wasn't ready. Huh? He said, I was. Let me put that up here. I wasn't ready to be a husband. Let me read on what he says. If you ever wondered what happened between NFL star Cam Newton and Kia Proctor, the mother of four of his children, he decided to open up about it during a recent interview between himself and fitness model in fitness model Instagram influencer Brittany Renner. Both parties came together for his Funky Friday YouTube series to set the record straight about themselves during their chat when Renner posed the question to him about why he didn't marry Proctor he didn't shy away from answering that's a great question the thing is that the thing is that person that I was while we were having children together I couldn't be the best husband he said I wasn't prepared to be a husband then Get the book, Janice. Read. This is Sunday sermon today, just in case you don't want to go to church tomorrow. Read from your book, The Naked Wife. Do you know that the title husband is a calling? Let's put it out so y'all can see The Naked Wife, okay? <clears throat> go on over to Amazon, pick it up. 
Yes, husbands are called, anointed, destined, and appointed by God to profess their love, provide for, and protect their wives. A husband is to love his wife like Christ loves the church. How did Christ love the church? Christ loves the church so much that he died for her. So what happened when a husband does not fulfill his God-ordained destiny of a husband to his wife? It causes his wife to be the naked. The naked wife is a revolution book. Our Christian author just believed it. Okay. So you see, a husband is a calling. Hallelujah. A husband is not, it's not. You, 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 you're in order for you, ladies and gentlemen, in order for you to really res understand the responsibility of a husband, you have to get a revelation of the responsibility of Christ. If you don't understand ah, the responsibility, the weight that Christ had to bear to redeem the earth, to redeem mankind, you will not understand the responsibility and the weight of a husband. This is why you don't beg him. This is why you don't force them, baby, because he might decide that you're not a weight he want to carry. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He might decide that he don't want to carry you, girl. This... Whew. Come on, come on. Mm. Okay. That's a great question. The thing is, I wasn't person that I was while we were having children together. I could not be the best husband. I was not prepared to be a husband then in my book 23 types of guys i talked about the prepared husband i talked about the 23 types uh the proverb the psalm 23 husband i talk about uh the christ-like husband husband is a responsibility it's a title like Christ is a type. How many of you know that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is not his name? Christ is a title. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Christ, Christ is a title. It means the anointing and his anointing. The anointed one. That's what that means. Christ is the anointed one. Whew. I need to write a book. I'm, I'm writing it, girl. I'm writing this book about a husband. Because a lot of women, you beg and run and sex and cook and clean. And you beg and cry for them to marry you. But you don't realize, baby, but that they have to, they have to want to be responsible for you. And they have to want to carry the weight to being your husband. When my pastor, my husband, Pastor Marius, he said to me at the altar, allow him to take care of you. Allow your husband to take care of you. You know why? Because the responsibility of a husband is to care for and take care of his wife. A husband is like a shepherd. He's responsible for the sheep. The sheep don't wonder, well, what am I going to eat? Where am I going to eat? Oh, I'm going to drink water. Uh-uh. That is the, the shepherd's responsibility. This is why, ladies, because Auntie Jen has been telling y'all, leave these men alone, girl. Don't you run them down and beg them to marry you. <clears throat> okay. He said, I was not prepared to be a husband then. The couple started in 2013 before reportedly breaking up into in early 2020. And Newton says she did make it clear that she wanted to be married. Okay. She made it clear, baby mama that she wanted to be married. 
So here's my question to you, dear. If you wanted to be married, why was you just popping babies out? Why didn't you wait for this man? Why didn't you allow this man to marry you? Not wait for him to marry. Allow him to marry you. And if he don't marry you, baby, you walk away. But this is the thing. You know what I was thinking about this morning? We sitting over here feeling sorry for all these baby mamas. That's popping babies out for all these athletes and all these people. And all uh, they're, they're laughing their way all the way to the bank. They're glad because they're getting, she's getting $15,000 a month. That's not a lot of money for a baby, for four babies. And he has millions. And Tristan Thompson, allegedly, that dirty bastard, is paying $40,000 a month for each child. And for four babies, she's only getting $15,000 a month. <clears throat> So we're sitting over here feeling sorry for her or these baby mamas. And she's like, girl, please, I'm taking care of her at least 20, 22 years if the kids go to college. Huh? She'll probably be in her 60s and still getting child support. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> As he, so, so she wanted to be married. Here you go, ladies. You want to be married. You want to be married, but you don't sit back and uh, and you 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 you're making babies out of wedlock, out of marriage, but you want to be married. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As he put it, the the hourglass was shrinking for Proctor. The hourglass was shrinking for Proctor, but he'd been seen successful marriages and wasn't ready to commit in that way. So in other words, the body was going, the fake body, the fake boobs, the ass, all of that. And he said, well, you know, I, 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 I've seen successful marriages. This is not it. I, I, I ain't going to do it. I really commend him. I commend him for not marrying her if he knew he wasn't ready and he wasn't prepared. We were both young. There was nothing and still nothing I would never do for her. But as this, at the same time, the person that she was when I met her, it wasn't the person she was when I left her. Woo! Powerful. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I need fresh air after that. I gotta get me some fresh air, girl. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said, What now? He said, The but the the person that she was when I met her, it wasn't the person she was when I left her. Whoop! <clears throat> I want to be like, excuse me. When I met Kia and I say this protecting her, listen, now you want to protect her. Well, why you didn't protect her when you first met her and you gave her four babies? You pumped her up with four babies. Why weren't you protecting her then, sir? Uh-uh. When I met Kia and I say this protecting her, she wasn't the one to be like, I want to be married. Oh! So when you met her, swinging off the pole. She wasn't trying to get married. She was just. <laughs> Ladies, this is so powerful. Read what this man is saying. When I met her, she was not saying, I want to get married. She was a stripper swinging off the pole, buy me this, buy me that, you know, flipping over, sucking and all of this stuff. Then she got pregnant. Now all of a sudden you want to get married. That's what he's saying. This is why my daddy said you are a wife. You're not a wife when you, when you stand at the altar and get married. You're a wife when the man meets you. So you have to be a wife, carry yourself like a wife. This is powerful. <clears throat> when I met Kia and I said this protecting her, she wasn't the one to be like, I want to be married. I was more so the person my parents been together 36 years. I know what marriage looks like. The ups, the downs, the trials, the tribulations. I seen Kia really evolving into a woman where her standards were. I ain't just no baby mama. 
So now he's saying she was evolving while he was with her. Then she wants to get married. But when I met her, she wasn't. She wasn't talking about trying to get married. She was just trying to get a purse. I don't understand if y'all really understand how powerful this is. Everything I've said in my book. I think you've read my book. You need to send me my check, uh, Newton Camp. Okay? Give me a shout out or something. Go pick up Janice's book or something. I seen Kia evolving into a woman where her standings were, I ain't just no baby mama, he said. And when she kept putting pressure on me, I was like, I don't know if this is what I really want. So she was pressuring. She met him, a stripper, swinging on the pole, you know, splitting it wide, splitting it open. Then she started, if I, I want to get married, uh-uh. You was just supposed to be a fun thing. I'm not trying to marry you. In addition to that, he admitted that while in the prime of his NFL career, he couldn't resist the other woman who would approach him. What did my father say? Man, got to get the dog out. Just don't beat the girl. He get the dog out in. But. I, I lost a lot of women on my channel when I did that eight series, but they did, they didn't see they 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 heard man got to get the dog out. They didn't hear the butt, but it behooves every man, like the apostle Paul told Timothy, to get control over your diggling. They didn't hear that part. All they heard was daddy say man got to get the dog out. I got so many, I can't believe, I didn't even respond because they didn't hear the but. They were being emotional and they didn't hear the but, but man got to get the dog out. Don't be the girl he get the dog out in, but it behooves every man, like the apostle Paul told Timothy to get control over your dingling, over your own vessel. Apostle Paul told Timothy. In addition to that, he admitted that while in the prime of his NFL career, he couldn't resist other women who would approach him. I was in Temptation Island, a football player, young. No, it's is not even in my vocabulary, he said. I just found myself in this downward spiral. Did she deserve better? I would humbly say yes, she did. I was failing, falling deeper into my own selfishness and realizing I got to be better. He continued, I hope you have the patience, which she did. Hello, these men are looking somebody to raise them. And she was around me through a lot of success, a lot of downfalls, and I respect her for that to this day, but it never led to the ultimate, which was a ring. How many of y'all stick with these men, hoping that one day they're going to marry? It has it worked for some people. That other girl, I can't think of her name. They don't had about three or four or five kids. They've been together for like 20, 15, 20 years. Then he finally married her. It worked out. But see, though, that's the thing. Those are the people, people, girls look at it and say, well, it worked. There's this one couple. She stayed with him all these years and he finally married her. But then there's 99 other women who did the same thing and it didn't work out. And instead of you looking at the 99 that it didn't work out for, you're looking at the one that it worked out for. Mm-hmm. Come on, preach, sir. And he added, to me, it's not even an apology that's needed. We just grew apart. The two are on good terms these days as co-parents to their kids with Newton lauding her for how great she is with them. He is hopeful that if she meets someone special, they will understand the athlete's place, not only in their kids' lives, but also the place he should still have in practice and vice versa. So here you go. You knock this woman up with four kids, but now you want to put the responsibility off on somebody else. Why did you have four kids with this woman? One, I could be like, well, you know, they got happy one night. 
okay? Because, you know, girl, I thought I was, you know, there was a, a couple of days, weeks ago, I thought I was pregnant. And I'm like, sweet baby Jesus, I'm 44 years old. You, you get you get happy and excited and you don't do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I told Mike, I said, Mike, you you know, you you gonna have to go up, go ahead up there and see the dog about that, okay? So you know, I, I could overlook one. Before the person that comes into her life and says, I will accept you for everything, for kids and all, that day is going to come. I would just hope that they would respect them, that I'm hands-on dad first, so you're going to have to see me at some point. He said, I still hold some type of weight for her to be able to discern. I believe just like she has the right to discern the day when I say I'm taking somebody serious, and I want them to meet our children. She still has the right to say, uh, 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 I don't want her around our kids. I would respect that. As mentioned, Newton and Proctor were together for about seven years. She entered that relationship with a daughter and they had four children. Newton also has a child, his youngest with Instagram model, Lorena Shaw. He claims as his own. The ch children both ladies had from their previous relationship as well, saying he has seven children. So this, I, I need a word. I need a safe word for these men. I got to find me a word. I have to find me a word. This man left this, his baby mama of with four kids and go knock up another Instagram model. Make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. But ladies, let me tell you, <clears throat> you don't need to go through all of these experiences for you to learn. You learn. This is why I have this channel. So we can learn from other people. Okay, we can learn from Wendy. We can learn from Mary Mary, Mary J. We can play or learn from um what's the girl that's taking over Wendy's show? We can learn, we can learn from Jill Scott. Don't marry bombs. We can learn. Don't have all these kids with these men. If you want be a wife. If you want to be a wife, be a wife. She wasn't a wife, she was a stripper. And now she wants to become a wife and want to pressure him on being, on getting married. And he's like, well, uh, uh, uh. And at the same time, you see these men will knock you up <clears throat> for babies and still leave you and hope that you're going to find a man to come into your life, her life and your children's life. You don't want to stay with your baby mama and create and marry her and create a home, a safe place for your children. Four. But you want some man to come in and take on the responsibility that you create. Make it make sense. But you know what, ladies? You know why they keep doing it? They keep doing it because you keep allowing them doing it. So you know what I say? I mind my business. Okay. I'm my, my business. I love you. I'm going to go. Be sure to show me the love. 23 types of guys on, Am on Amazon. Check that out. <clears throat> check it out. Check it out. Don't give husbands, don't give boyfriends husband benefits. Babies are a husband benefits. The naked wife, 10 years of girlfriend, all these books, wisdom is here to help you. Take your cookie off the table. Take your cookie off the table t-shirt. Are you guys um ready for this shirt? I think it's on Etsy or I think I'm gonna put in a, I think it's on um Teespring below. I'm going to I'm gonna put it on sale. I love you. I have to go ready to love. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I might do it live on my um my financial chan channel because I need to grow that channel and get those hours. But I love you, I love you, I love you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Isn't this what cousin Auntie Jean is right about in her books? I'm just trying to say. Subscribe. Remember my Patreon. You want to show me love on a monthly basis. And of course, my Ko-Fi. Look me up on there. Um, 
I'm doing my mentoring. If you want one-on-one -on -one mentoring, that's where you, you, you connect with me. Okay. Love you, darlings. Have to go. Bye.